Hello YouTube and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. We uh, we uh, just finished up with some off-screen grinding and we're gonna go and uh, and fight Vanitas, I think. That's where we're going. That's our next stop, so. Go save King Mickey. Solution, I take you on my phone. That's totally understandable. Uh, Absolutely, I hope you get some rest, and thank you for being here. It's Mickey. genuinely really nice to have somebody, even when it's this late, so. We meet again, boy. Oh, hey, it's this old bastard. An potential answer, uh, Robo. Ah, yes. So you're starting to realize what you lost. Oh, but not for good. You had to lose in order to find. Now it can all be yours again if you only reach out and take it. Reclaim the part. Uh, yeah, the cannon is Terra, then Ventus, then Aqua. All three of them are canonly, can canonically happening side by side. Like, we're playing them in the canon order of the events you're supposed to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, Correct. it's not just RE2 Remake that did that. Like, RE2 did the same thing. Like, OG. Knows exactly what you are. Master? Haven't you ever wondered why he never granted you permission to be his side? To grow stronger? Um, but yeah, no, this is all happening at the same time. If you were to learn the truth, I love that air that this old codger emotes like he's at a 2004 World of Warcraft. Why else would he keep you within his sight at all times? Yes, Terra comes to fight him right after this. He never let me see other worlds, no matter how much I ask. And then Aqua, which we will do Aqua. Probably next week, because tomorrow is going to be a Final Fantasy XIV stream, because I want to level my Final Fantasy XIV character up to power. Yeah, he did. <laughs> what am I? What is the master been keeping from me all this time? What am I? A twink. All right, let's see if we can kick, we can fight uh, Ericus and, and win. Uh, yeah, what's up, Robo? Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Though I will say, uh, Majora's Mask probably my least favorite Zelda game. Um. I won't shit on it openly anymore because I was convinced to give it a try recently, Ventus. and I played the remaster. I thought Aqua. But yeah. 
Well, what matters is that you're home. And you don't belong outside this world yet. You need to stay here where you can learn. In your prison? What? That's your excuse. For keeping me imprisoned here, isn't it? What did you hear? That I'm supposed to be some weapon. Some kind of keyblade. I knew it. Xehanort. He could never let it go. Flashback time, y'all. Wait, Xehanort. There is a reason the precepts bar us from such knowledge. Why do you seek the Keyblade? Did you blanket all the worlds in darkness? Reduce them to nothing? But darkness did... Yes, I did see once. that. In legend, we know so little about the Keyblade War. Only that it was just the beginning. Amidst that crisis, a precious life was found. It is a curious tale. And one word Me fucking too. It's great. They say ruin brings about creation. So what then would another Keyblade War bring? I don't know. You survived the first one. Till you tell us. Will we be found worthy of the precious light the legend speaks of? I must have these answers. The Keyblade needs to be forged, and with it, the door to the Keyblade War unlocked. Who would risk an apocalypse out of sheer curiosity? Oh, you have no idea, I Robo. Never... Just wait till we get to the Keyblade graveyard. No, but once again, you have it all wrong, Erebus. Darkness is a beginning, you see, not an end. At birth, every one of us emerges from darkness into a world of light, do we not? Poetic excuses. Words won't dissuade you. Only one thing will. Uh, that power has the darkness taken you, Xehanort? Not your concern. had the chance to stop him and couldn't do it. That's totally understandable. Fail again. Uh, Master, what do you... The Keyblade has no place in this or any world. Xehanort has made his purpose clear. So, bl broken Keyblades actually have a purpose. Forgive They're used to uh, make forge new Keyblades. must exist no more. Hell yeah, Terra. Terra, I command you, step aside. No. You will not heed your master. I won't. Why do all my attempts to reach you fail? You don't have it in your heart to obey. Then you will have to share Ventus's fate. Damn. I got. A, I love Mark Hamill's performance here. Like that's. Ma, ten out of ten voice acting. Again, I, I said it in the Terra playthrough, but the like mixed light dark portal that Terra makes right here, Wait. cool as fuck.
This is another incredibly important cutscene. Somewhere? I'm through with you. Well, I'm just getting started with you. You're strong enough now to fulfill your purpose. So what are you waiting for? Join with me right here and now. Become the Keyblade. No, it's honestly a better name. I won't do it. Vanitas is like a play on Ventus and Vane, and like Vanity. You and me fight. Well, guess what? I'm not fighting. You used to be too broken to talk back. Oh shit! Hey, heartless. Look at that. And they're like stronger heartless too. Let the dark impulses waken in the pit of your heart. Release them here and now. Sharpen your fear into a rage. You must. If you do not let the storm within you run its course, it will wipe you from the face of the world. Make no mistake. This is the one time heartless appear in this game, by the way. This is the one time. Uh, because he made them. Xehanort created them. This is the first emergence of them in history. Reckless neophyte. I must. I will extract the darkness from within you myself. Well, no, okay. So, yes, they appear in Union Cross. Because Union Cross is the earliest in the timeline. However, Xehanort is from Union Cross. So he's kind of the originator. Xehanort is technically, and this is a bit of a spoiler for Union Cross for those who haven't played it, the playable protagonist from Union Cross. Like, even though Union Cross has character customization, it's, it's Xehanort. Xehanort is the playable character. Fine. Then I'll give you a reason to fight. What? Come and find me. At the one and only place to spawn the Keyblade. The Keyblade Graveyard. There, you're gonna see me choke the life out of Terra and Aqua. So... Robo, they do. They did appear in earlier games. What I'm saying they is they didn't ap appear. Um, yeah, fire needs oxygen, wind, and wind to be sustained. Uh, they didn't appear any time in this game before that instance. Um, I think that's his, like, bad, his, like, end game Keyblade, I do believe. Uh, higher damage when you do. I think this is his end game Keyblade. If not, it's one of them, so it's getting equipped.
Yeah, because we're we're on our way to the Keyblade Graveyard. You absolutely do, uh, Robo. 100%. I always inc encourage drawing cool shit. Also, we're going to do a shit ton more damage now that we're not using a beginning of the game Keyblade. That's the other thing, is that I used the beginning of the game Keyblade because that's just kind of the... The, the, the way I do things. Up until I get their final Keyblade. Friends forever. Which, God, Ventus's is cool. I think what I'm going to do, one of the things I'm going to do when I uh, beat the game, or when I beat all three, is I'm going to do a dramatic reading of uh, Xehanort's reports uh, as one of the, like, major, like, as a character from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, okay. Um Yeah, I need to I need to go get Kuraga. Ooh. Um Kira should be fine. I think we I think we have everything we're gonna have uh from here out. Fusion Ferraga. Wellspring Crystal. Once more. Combo Plus, Combo Plus, once more. Uh, it'll be fun to draw my keyblade all broken in the in broken off. Honestly, I encourage it. I also encourage definitely get these games and play them. They're so good. Oh, oh, we are tearing through these things now. Okay, yeah, no, we... I definitely should have been using, when I was grinding at least, Keyblades from other worlds that were not the OG Keyblade. But I have this weird, uh, self-imposed, uh, restriction of only, uh, Keyblades from, from, like, their canon story. Oh, wow. Fission Faraga is dope. Firestorm, fuckers. We are going to go into each of these, by the way, um, and fight all of the Heartless, or the, the Inversed, because 
I think it would be good for uh, time, for one. Uh, uh, timing in the game, for one. Uh, just kind of to pad out this final video. Uh, and for two, uh, it's going to be really good for uh, XP. Unlocked explosion. Oh, that's dope. Diamond dust. Hero. Salvation. Everybody dies. Magic increases. Fire. Fusion fire ago. Freeze. Blizzard. There we go. Also, interesting thing, I didn't have a uh, charm chain. So, here's the thing about the charm chains. If you didn't have a charm chain, you didn't have a keyblade. Uh, because keyblades require those to make form. To take form. The only ones that don't have them are the Keyblade of Hearts, which is the one that uh, that uh, Riku wields in the first game that isn't a true Keyblade, and then uh, the other Keyblade that we Riku wields, also in the first game, that also isn't a true Keyblade until after Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, known as uh, Way to Darkness. Way to Darkness was not a true Keyblade, it was a blade given to him by Maleficent. Sweetheart, hello, my beloved, how are you? Yes, I am still streaming. Yes, it is four in the morning. I told you this would happen. We are out on the literal final level of the game. Right this very second, we are just defeating all of the, the Heartless. Uh, or the, uh, oh no. Sleepy, the Void is sleepy. Give the Void coffee. Hello, uh, I'm, uh, I hope you have a fantastic day at work. Uh, I will be uh, asleep for a good portion of it. This is what happens when your girlfriend works third shit. Yo, explosion is so good. I love you too. And thank I do I do try and work really hard. Uh, 
Uh, I could grind out one more level after this. Like, I, I could totally use this fucking area to grind out one level. Uh, okay. Maybe we might. We straight up might. Um, okay, we're gonna use Salvation to get rid of these fuckers, because, damn it, I hate these guys. Fusion Fire. Lazara. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you for being here. I should be done in the next, like, hour. Maybe. This way. It's the way I'm looking at. Get the sticker right here, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put... Vision? Oh, yeah, explosion. You cleared. My job is done here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, Blitz will combine with... No. Nope. I, I need those two commands way too bad. Too much. Bye, baby. I appreciate you for being here, and I appreciate you for, uh, for helping. Abilities. Yeah, okay. We're, we've got a bunch of these. We got a bunch of new commands. Um, we got Salvation level 6. Salvation's gonna keep us from dying a lot when fighting Vanitas. Um, reports, sticker album, chip, uh, more ice cream, more ice cream. Fireworks. More ice cream. Even more ice cream. Yeah, I think that's everything. Command deck. Er, er, um, command list. Uh, launch fireworks to celebrate. Someone may be glad you did. Okay. Uh, beside my question, I'm going to stay awake long enough to see the graveyard before I eep and learn more about my Keyblade, ho hopefully. Uh, any other things I should know about Keyblades before trying to fall asleep or figure it out? Um, I think the big thing about Keyblades is they choose their wielder, but not often... But often not in a manner in which the wielder has any choice in what they look like. It's all determined by, like, the person and their personality. Like, uh, Xehanort's Keyblade is fucked up and weird looking because Xehanort is fucked up and weird. Uh, Ventus's Keyblade was broken looking because Ventus, as a person, was broken for a long while. He is not broken any longer, and now ends thus doesn't have to deal with that. Oh, Wingblade is so much stronger now that I have a strong Keyblade. Oh my goodness. Level 31, magic increase. I would say probably it was it was very elegant when it was made, because it was a rapier by you, by your description. So probably not always, um, like all fucked up. But you know, uh, that's what a good corruption arc will do to a person. Uh, we'll do one last, like, set of battles before we head in to go fuck Vanitas' life up. Okay. 
Vanitas being our final boss, we are going to be fighting him as the, the final boss in the, uh, the Keyblade Graveyard. Salvation! Yes. Fusion Fyrog. Beaver Pitch. Salvation. That should hit enough of them. Binding strike. Aerial slam. All right, cool. That should finish him off, and then now we should have uh, the ability to walk around this area with impunity and find all the treasure. Which I think that's all the treasure. Yeah, we have all the treasure in the Keyblade Graveyard. <laughs> Missing one piece of treasure in Neverland. Three pieces in there. We have all the treasure in Olympus Coliseum. Yeah, I think this is it. I think we're gonna same level as we were when we when we beat the game last time. What is counter rush right after a successful block? Yeah, we're gonna fucking buy that. Of course we're gonna do that. Stun block. Uh, thank you for the raid um, or thank you for the for the lurk I appreciate you for being here um, we're gonna cut this particular video off for YouTube have a wonderful evening everybody remember to like subscribe and hit that notification bell bye everybody